Hello again, everyone. And as always, it's such a joy for me to bring you the word of God on today. I hope that everyone is doing well. If you have your Bibles, go with me again to the second book of Timothy, that third chapter, and we'll begin at that first verse. And it reads, This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affections, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. From such, turn away. And may the Lord add a blessing to the reading and the hearing of his word. Let us pray. Holy Father, we come in the name of Jesus. And again, we're just so thankful for the reading and the hearing of your word. We ask that your word will go out and accomplish what you send it to do. That it will not return to you void. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Okay. By now, I hope that everyone has made or taken the time to listen to part one of this message uh, where we talked about uh, being able to see the evidence of everything uh, we just read in the scriptures if we just look around. We stated that how love appears to be buried so deep within, even now under anger uh, from abuse or rejection, um, betrayal, disappointment, resentment, jealousy, or even just plain meanness. And the list could go on and on. We also gave acknowledgement to the Holy Spirit revealing um, the differences in allowing uh, our attitudes and our lifestyles and our behaviors to, how you say, reveal the fruit of the spirit, the love, the joy, the peace, the long suffering, gentleness, goodness, uh, faith, meekness, temperance or self-control or the practices or the works of the flesh simply because many refuse to allow look, the Holy Spirit to do the work in them that only his presence and his power is able to accomplish. Displaying behaviors that show they are actually um, wolves in sheep clothing, only pretending to love God, only pretending to love uh, his son, Jesus Christ, and only pretending to love what his children. Proving that their affections and their care and the, or their concern toward each other, as we said before, has a lesser value. Causing them to be exposed for being deceived. Why? Because God is love. And if you have love in your heart, according to the word, you have God's what? Nature. Listen, this is very important and I can't say it enough. You will know the tree or the a person by its fruit. Whether it's an apple, an orange, a lemon, or a pear. Whether it's love, hate, Good, evil, darkness, or light. No matter what or who someone say they are, if they are not producing the proper fruit, according to this word, they're liars. For if a man say, I love God, look, but hates or can't stand his brother, he's a liar. So according to this word, Let's look at the word brother, okay? One might say uh, it's one having the same parent or one parent in common. Another is one related to another by communities or, or interest. A biblical definition would be um, a near rel relation, like a sibling or a cousin, for example, a fellow neighbor or a coworker or maybe a friend a disciple or follower, okay? But listen, all of this has to do with one thing. They are in Christ. He's talking about how this is truly what is all about. Those who are in Christ, those who are what, abiding in Christ. For he that says he's in Christ is in the light. For he that says he is in Christ in the light and hates his brother is in darkness. The scripture says, even now it's like those who stand and watch as others are taken advantage of 
who allow or sow discord. And this is to say uh, or to do things that cause distrust among each other, resulting in arguments, fights and division. Those who gloat over someone's misfortune because of the fact that they're doing good, they're, they're successful at this time. Or those who rejoice over someone in their time of adversities, in their time of brokenness, downfall, or even loss, whether it's of a person or possessions. Who, those who hinder or hold back or block the progress of someone who's what, struggling to do good. Or those who capture, trap, and cause someone to be what, addicted or dependent on someone or something. These are things that they do against their brother. And this is not new behavior. Because in Obadiah, the first chapter, read that when you get a chance, the 10th verse through the 16th verse, God dealt with Esau, um, his arrogance for his violence, his uh, physical and mental uh, abusive behavior toward his brother Jacob. So when you get a chance to uh, read that, because uh, he, he tr when you read that, you'll see that it was about the hurt and the damage and even the fact that they were, you know, wanted to kill. But it's against the brethren. OK, and even if someone was to say, though I have the gift of prophecy, understand all mysteries and all knowledge. And though I have all faith so that I can move mountains, if they don't have charity, if they don't have love, according to this word, they're nothing. Just hearing this makes us aware or conscious of and gives us a clear understanding of the love of God. He, God, laid down his life for us, look, through Jesus, so that we ought to lay down our lives according to the word for the brethren. Now listen, love is of God. Everyone that loves is born of God. Those that don't love don't really know God because what? God is love. And those that dwell live in or practice love, dwell in God, and God dwells what? In them. So if you have this world's goods, I mean, you're truly blessed with the resources to help others and see or even know that your brother is in need, but you shut up your bowels of compassion from them. How is God, who is love, dwelling in you? Think about that, because when reading about the humble beginnings of God's work through uh, the name of Jesus in the early church, through the name, uh, um, it, it states, I'm sorry, it states that they were of one heart and of one soul. It says that no one considered or said that anything that they had or possessed was his own. And neither was there any among them that what lacked. Listen. When you meet someone and get to know them, who they are, um, how they talk and move in life, you understand that you have to what? Take upon you some of their ways, some of their behavior, some of their beliefs, what? In order to be around and interact with them. Think about it. Whether they are a believer or an unbeliever, whether they're compassionate, giving, kind, patient, thoughtful, positive, or full of encouragement. Whether they are a liar, a gossiper, a racist, a bully, homosexual, a drunk, gang member, greedy, or full of jealousy. We take upon us some of that. Think about it. Well, with God, it's the same way. We know him, who he is. How he talks and how he moves in life, look, according to his word. So if we say we know him and interact with him, but do not take or show some of his what ways, his nature, his character, his behavior or beliefs, then we're not, we're liars. And the truth, according to the word, is not in us. But if we do show his ways, his nature, behavior, and beliefs, his love is what? It's working. It's working in us, and we realize that we are what? In him, because we are walking, even as he walked in the light of truth. 
Why is this important? Because Jesus Christ is our advocate. He is the true supporter of our what? faith. He is the one who took our place. He's the one that died in our place. He's the one that paid our debt for our sins. Amen. And not just our sins, but also it says for the sins of the what? whole world. All souls belong to him. And he is the one that has made salvation free to what? Everyone. Amen. For the blood of Jesus Christ, his son has cleansed us from all and all means all from all sin. And Jesus Christ clearly stated that we are to love one another, even as he loves us. And it says by this genuine affection toward each other, everyone will what? see as if looking through a window that we are his, that we are his followers in his nature, his character, his behavior, and his beliefs abiding in him. So go back and listen to it again. Go back and look at the scriptures. I'm telling you, it's about those who are in Christ. You look at people, as I said before, you know the tree by the fruit, but one day they're going to stand before God and they're going to say, but Lord, I did this in your name and I did that in your name. He'll say, I never knew you. Depart from me, you worker of iniquity. So continue to read the word. Continue to apply the word, continue to seek God for help in the word with your life, because that's what he's there for. Jesus Christ is our advocate, our great high priest and king, according to this word. Amen. Let us pray. Holy Father, we come in the name of Jesus and we thank you for this word. We thank you, O oh God, because we know that even now you are still with us with all that's going on in the world. Heavenly Father, it is your desire that we find a way to get it together, that we find a way to bridge the gaps. Heavenly Father, we ask in the name of Jesus that you would just help us. There's so many people, Father, who are stating that they don't like this and don't like that and don't want this and don't want, want that. But at the end of the day, it does not matter. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your love that is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost because you've given us the ability to love. You've given us the ability to help others. You've given us the ability to be in the midst, oh God, standing in the gap as you stand with us to help and to assist and to do whatever it is that we can for one another. We love you. We ask even the more that your divine will be done in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. Again, we just want to say thank you for joining us on today. We ask that you would visit our website, that you would like, share, and subscribe. We ask that you would just continue reading the word, abiding in that word, listening and learning, knowing that God loves you, I love you, and we'll see you next time.
true vine live in union we love you lord you're our entrance into heaven we praise you lord our way our truth our life eternally Salvation, we're forever with you. We have hope in Jesus, and we bless you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we pray. We praise you, we love you, and we bless you.